I have a matter of prime urgency and import. I must speak to you. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? And even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase, that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Notice any other strange behavior, additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter, but folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk that she's wanted to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learned, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You shall take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. This tourney, how does it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize, and more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. Look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. 
everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Apply all the skills you mentioned on a daily basis, and against monsters, not targets and dummies. Don't need any training. Going straight to the tourney grounds to sign up. Must go to the inscription that honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. You say something about vows? As is our custom. Knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? I swear on Her Grace's illustrious garter to respect the chivalric virtues in competing. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck! Geralt, 
Well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn Knight Errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Renfarn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less, as if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nefgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt, I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel will be such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Thanks. Another time, maybe. Ha! Ah, you've denied me some diversion. But at the least, my eyes are in for a treat. Lady Vivian should appear shortly. The Tawny's grand prize! You have sworn your vows. You have readied body and soul. The time has come to test them! Behold home Akispark of the Mechtian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. The targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Ghostly grasping but one fair cheat, Geralt's half strewn to destroy his victory and bitter defeat. <laughs> Sir Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Yeah, let's go now.
This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Claw marks. That's clear. Not sure what beast left them. Just that it's big. Oh, there it is. Thought of concealed ointment. How little magic it work here. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Oriole feather. If Yen keep a bird as a bat, Ruxay tend to be fond of birds here, if so. Someone approaches, quickly! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's, it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seek you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. Strapping lads, a fruitful hunt to you, Richard. Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous, gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Save her their titles of their presence, be proud. Halmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metida. Renfarn of Atra. Home like a spark of Maked. Dunimir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiao. Pat Tai of Dondal. Anse of Lilia and Rivia, a prince. Geralt of Rivia. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint fire of silence, Tony Champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a bard in deceit? Does someone need telling how Tony's proceed? How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother Meath, Queen of Lyria and Rivia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The tourney's protector, the mate Vivian. A beauty enchances both beasts and men! My heart's greetings, dear knights! May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory! Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed, swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Gideon. And he's up with a thunderous roar who 
Earth pounds the ground. No legion of trammets can make such a sound. Join, keep pace. What's taken? A race of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your prize. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? I'm only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink.
To Vivian. May you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Her presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Got business to finish here. We'll duel another day. You cannot refuse another man's challenge. It is dishonorable. You would be excluded from the tourney. Then what would become of Vivian? Coward. Fine. Main arena. See you there. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three, two, one! Come on, Roach. Reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. <sighs> you mean to say you had a secret mission? Set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to duel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, Private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. You shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Bad, great. <laughs> 
dumb scoundrel! Ah. Ever-seeking Lady Vivian! Some kind of lady! Hmm, strange. Was sure I'd find her here. Vanished, melted into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa? somewhere. Whoa there, Roach. Bird flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave.
Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? Why, you are a witcher. You were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Cause the Duchess trusts me? Cause I'm a freak too? Cause cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. You got nothing to fear. I came here to help you, and I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child. And my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. 
could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. change at will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. We were both right, actually. It is a curse. One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? That'll depend on her. I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. Tough case. Curses hold on her grow stronger every day. And I'm a witcher, not a miracle worker. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice. Give my life for her. Just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful Queen Sero. Knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? 
Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Best route? Ritual with the Oriole Egg. Surest method. Won't put any third parties at risk. Third parties? I'm no third party. Mm, let me talk to her. Could very well appreciate your eagerness, change your mind. But it'll have to be her decision. I'm counting on you, Witcher. And I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the tourney through. You could withdraw. True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last contest. But it's nothing I can't handle. So, what will it be? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know not. Palmer with it. See? None. It. A chair for two rifles. Who fuck? By the night split. Whoever here wins the past. Let us begin. Clout, race, ruckus. Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in bucket. Quite so glorious for showing such birth, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sails through all trials, each test he passed with ease, but now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Grégoire de Gorgon, who on this ground's last one, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired Tremenda, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Grégoire de Gorgon, victor of last his tourney! I wish both combatants good fortune and fame! They sink the grounds, the titans go to stairs, for those of us, I hunting bears! The Dan's Emissaries are victor and champion! The animal of Mount Christ in shock! The girl seems weak. Will he survive? His fortunes are weak! And now a few words from a 
He defeated Grégoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon the garter of her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta. Doubtless the Duchess's grace carried him to the splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now, which you'll meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk will guard you. The least you should do is a wave. my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure. I want to tell you something, though. I think we should try the alternate method first. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, oh lovely Vivian. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. No need to be sharp with him, my lady. And if I'm to help you, gotta do one thing for me. Hear what Guillaume has to say. Is that an ultimatum? Looks to be. Be not angry, my lady. You no longer bear this burden alone. I know all. You told him! I know a curse afflicts you. A curse which grows more severe by the day. I understand how you feel. My aunt, Countess de Lonfull, once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside. She grew weaker by the day, the light fading from her eyes. I remember her saying the worst was not the pain, but losing mastery of her own body. She was so helpless. I fear you feel the same. The Witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me. I wish to do this, to take it from you, Vivian. Why? Because I love you. I might have died in the arena. I sought to slay a Shailmar for you. But now I see the fool I was. Now I see how I risked my life for no purpose. Yet, with this, I can truly do something for you. I do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone. You saw how it looks, Witcher. I turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well. Do you think this a good idea? Worth a try, as I see it. Original curse fell on an unborn child. Doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown man. You've now heard the expert opinion. Let us do this together, Vivian. Very well. I was prepared to die. Thus I am also prepared to attempt something mad. 
Now we must go to my pool in the woods, yes? Everything's agreed, so no point wasting any more time. Let's go. The aunt you mentioned, what became of her? She passed on. Die, beast! So, this is my true form. It is not too late. You may still change your mind. It would bring no shame. My mind is made up. My resolve is firm. If you can handle it, so will I. You are beautiful to me, even as you stand now. Oh, that's clearly rubbish. Shut your eyes, both of you, and don't move. Guillaume? Yes, my love? If you become as I am now, I wish you to know I shall not leave you. Picture yourselves reflected in a pool of water. Focus on that. Damn, I think it might have worked. How do you feel, in general? You feel it change, Guillaume? I was struck hard, as if by a battering ram, but now I, I feel not at all different, apart from a slight itch on my skin. Are you certain it worked? Yes, something happened, definitely. Must be an intersection beneath this pond. Powerful magic at work here. Look at Vivian. What now? Now? Now you get to live together, happily ever after. Still, watch yourselves carefully. Notice any troubling symptoms, find me. Naturally. I thank you, Garrett. Oh, and your payment. Oh, at last! I have so much to make up for. 
balls to attend, distant lands to see. Free at last, as a bird. Ha! Huh? I found you droll. I had not noticed before. But you will not fly away without me. That remains to be seen, I think. But I too must thank you, Witcher. Don't mention it. You take care, both. 